Also, I, as we should point out, also one of the things that President Obama, and it's just a small clause, although I imagine it will be a much bigger uh, uh, strategy, is he talks about in his speech, he talked about countering the, it, it, uh, ISIS's warped ideology. Right. And that's yeah. a specific discussion of, of trying to make sure that all of these, and it's uncomfortable to talk right. about, but thousands of young Muslim men who are flocking to Syria and Iraq because they think what they call themselves the, the Islamic State, are the strongest horse, uh, as in Osama bin Laden's language, uh, that they are no longer attracted to do that. Well, it's also that what, what, the, what that is intimating is it's a war of ideas as much as it is a, a war of military. Okay. And that right. war of ideas is in many ways much, much harder to, to counter. You can't I mean, kill you an have, idea. But, but you have madrasas you which support. are being supported by our allies, Saudi Arabia, in Pakistan Absolutely. and throughout the world, which are preaching why, this. But that's why it's not just a national conversation, as you right. point to the speaker. It's got to be an international conversation. Because we, we, ha we've had that conversation in the United States. We continue to have it. But we need to have it with the coalition. And that's why the Arab League is important. Right. That's why having the Saudis involved. That's why right. having the Turks involved. A statement, involved. A statement from the Arab League. A statement from the Arab League is easy. Stopping the funding of the madrasas by Saudi Arabia that's, That's hard. hard. Right. The guy, exactly. the, the guy Gadan, that was just taken out, the, the uh, Al Shabaab leader uh, in Somalia, that was taken out by the Obama administration and, and the military, the U.S. military, uh, just a few days ago, was educated in a Pakistani madrasa, right. Right. Yeah. funded by Saudi Arabia, and given a scholarship. Without Saudi Arabia funding that madrasa and giving that scholarship, he would not have been a threat to the United States or to the surrounding area of Africa where he was. 